guys welcome back to my channel today i have a sam's club haul for you we stocked up on meat because if you saw my grocery haul earlier in the week i showed like what was in our freezer and it was not much for meat it was like one thing of ground beef no chicken a thing of pork chops a th one pork loin and like most of that's gonna be used up this week so we definitely needed to stock up this should last us at least through the month um so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what we got Okay, here is everything that we got. If you wanna leave a guess for the total, leave that down below and then I will show you my receipt in the app. I talk about it every time. I always do scan and go at Sam's Club. And this time I actually went to a new Sam's Club. Um, the one closest to me is 10 minutes away. This one is 20 minutes away and I will definitely be driving the extra 10 minutes to the other one from now on. It was less busy and they had more things like some things that i had been looking for that some of y'all had recommended my store never has so this store has those things so i'm excited to try some of them and also deal with a less busy store and that one also offers gas so i will drive the extra 10 minutes for less people and more options so starting out we got some toilet paper this is the one we always use it lasts us a couple months we're on our last like little pack which I mean that'll last like a couple of weeks so we really didn't need it right this minute but I know we'll need it before I go back and stock up on meat so we went ahead and got that and then we have like two two rolls of paper towels left so I got a big thing of paper towels as well got some Powerade for Andy to take to work he takes like one of these a day so they last him quite a while and then I got these for myself although he might actually drink some as well they are the sparkling ice flavored sparkling waters um they have strawberry lemonade in here watermelon limeade berry lemonade and classic lemonade so that watermelon limeade is a new exclusive flavor so i'm excited to try that one that's the whole reason i bought it was because it had that watermelon limeade i haven't tried that and i haven't tried the berry lemonade so both of those i'm excited to try um i can't remember how much this was i think it was like 14 dollars for 24 bottles and this is like 11 something for 24 bottles so they're pretty good prices at sam's club moving on over here meat and some random other things i cannot remember who i saw have these i feel like it was somebody on instagram they're everything seasoned cashews um, they sound delicious they look delicious can't wait to try those that's like ten dollars then i saw somebody with these oat bites as well I feel like it was somebody on Instagram. It might have just been one of those, like, uh, people who, like, share, like, new finds at Sam's Club. I follow a bunch of random accounts like that for various stores, um, like Walmart and Target and Sam's Club and Aldi. So, it might have been somebody like that. But these are Oat Bites Mixed Berry. They're, like, oatmeal and mixed berry filling. This is, like, five-something, and there are 18, yes, 18 individually wrapped bites in there. And then cheese. Last time I did a Sam's Club haul, I bought the Baby Bell. And one of you, or actually I think it was a couple of you, recommended the Jack Snack cheese that you like this better. Like it's a different type of cheese and you like this kind of cheese better. So I'm hoping Elijah likes this one because he didn't like the Baby Bell. Um, and yeah, this is cheaper. I can't remember the price, but you get 26 in there. And it's definitely cheaper than the Baby Bell. And then I also got this Havarti and Gouda snack cheese. Um, I saw, I think it was on TikTok, somebody was talking about, these are her thinking cheeses. When she doesn't know what to eat, like, especially for lunch, she eats a cheese and thinks about what she wants to make herself for lunch. And I do that often and didn't even realize that other people do that. Like, when I'm hungry for lunch and the kids ate leftovers or something, but there wasn't anything for me, I'll, like, eat a piece of cheese so that I can, like, think because I'm so hungry sometimes that I can't even think straight. So I need a piece of cheese and then like I'm not as hungry and I can think about what I wanna make and whatnot. I, I don't know if that sounds crazy, but yeah. Thinking cheese, that's what these are. And then I feel like one of y'all recommended this peanut butter as well. It's the Members Mark Natural No Stir Creamy Peanut Butter. We are a Jif household, usually I buy Jif, but I wanted to give this a try it is cheaper. I think it was around $7 or $6. And 
yeah we'll see how we like it i will definitely update y'all and let y'all know if you see it in another sam's club haul in a couple months you'll know that we liked it um better than the jeff but i've never had a peanut butter that i absolutely hated just i prefer jeff i think it's the best so we'll see how this goes and then we got some chicken thighs boneless skinless chicken thighs they were 172 a pound which is good price we got some chicken breast. They were 182 a pound, which is a good price. And then beef and pork have both gone up in price some more. So this was 542 a pound for chuck roast. So this was 2314 for two chuck roasts. Um, I want some Mississippi pot roast like really bad. So that's why I got those. And then ground beef has gone up a little bit as well. This was 374 a pound. Um, but it's 88% lean, 12% um, fat, so it's pretty good, like, fat-wise, and that's a good price for, like, that lean. Um, so this was $18.14, and then I got another one underneath it that's around $18. And then the pork loin, these are usually, like, a dollar something a pound, like, I feel like they're close to a dollar, or like a dollar forty-eight. This has gone up to two seventeen a pound. So this was $17.69 for this, and usually I can get one for around $11 or $10. So went up a little bit, but not too bad. Like um, a lot of meat and stuff has gone up in price. So I'm happy I'm able to get it at Sam's Club for a little bit cheaper than Walmart or Kroger or Aldi. But yeah. My total today at Sam's Club was $205.79. And that is going to be it for my Sam's Club haul this week. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave me a thumbs up. And let me know in the comments down below if there are any other items that you guys recommend that I try. And if you have tried any of these, let me know down below as well. I'd love to hear from you guys and what you guys think. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.